The Clearing Season 1, Episode 3, Thoughts. Now, this episode is called Suffer the Little Children. And, yeah, once again, absolutely love this episode. Spoilers for these first three episodes to follow. So, yeah, we, we open on the, the, you know, Freya with Maxine in the car. And, you know, at, at first it takes several seconds before she tries to, to comfort Maxine. And, you know, then she actually screams at Maxine, which of course makes Maxine cry even harder. And she leaves the car and even the, you know, when, when, when Wayne comes out of the store... You know, he has to break a window because Freya took the car keys with her. And, you know, I th I th they, they say that Maxine isn't breathing. So, you know, really, really awful situation. And, you know, we're again seeing that Freya, because of the trauma she endured, is struggling with motherhood herself. And... You know when the the look on Wayne's face, yeah, the the you know it's really, and uh, yeah, he he realizes that she left the car and and this you can tell that he he's not like thinking oh. I wonder why she did that. There must be some rational explanation. No, he's thinking, I can't believe you did this. Or rather, I can believe. And, yeah, I, I really appreciate, uh, you know, it. it's always good to, to, in fiction, explore people who who struggle with the roles that society kind of expects than them to and this this kind of thing you know I, I can't help but wonder there might be you know people what you know people might watch this episode and realize oh you know I know someone who's like that I guess maybe the the you know maybe maybe you thought oh they're just a bad parent but maybe there's something in their past that has led to to you know, so, so yeah, really appreciate that kind of thing, and, yeah, and, and we learned that there are new owners, and you feel really bad for them, because they have no idea what's going, you know, they're just, like, they're moving into this place, and they're, you know, they're happy, they're, you know, they're, they just want to, to some measuring, and you know, they they said we will only be a few minutes. Just, you know, she's pregnant. They're excited. They're gonna make a nursery, in and and they just want to know. You know, it's it's a completely. Yeah, I I really respect the the chance this is taking by centering on Freya. May when when you know she's. You know, understandably. She is a much less appealing person, and I really, I, I think we need to, to normalize media that explores people who are not necessarily pleasant to, to I'm, I'm not saying that, not normalize this kind of behavior, obviously, she's very harmful, but normalize sympathy for people like this, because there usually is some reason, you know, the, the, and, and, you know, you, you judging them is not going to make things any better. I, I say you, I'm sure I myself have been in a situation where I judged, you know, because there was too little media, you know, pointing out, no, there's, there's a reason for that. And, yeah, so, so, you know, basically, the the you know Freya goes to Adrian and says you're selling my house, and she says don't you mean my house? You know I I you can really see that Adrian and 
Ah, uh, hold on. I have it right here. Both Adrian and uh, Bryce, you know, neither of them really have empathy for Freya. You know, and I really like that we get some audio from the past before the visual of the past kind of you know there's a there's a little bit of overlap there I really appreciate that because that is you know if you have traumatic memories it can feel like you're reliving them or, or rather it can feel like they're happening right now and yeah as you relive them that's what I meant to say and you know the drug means that Amy is is throwing up and Anton is saying you know oh the in you know you might have to go through it again you know if if the if you were ah, what's the word if you had already if you had properly gone through the the clearing then you know you would know and yeah and and you know Freya goes to the the church and meets Bryce and you know she she asks him did you sell my house you're the attorney you know you have power of attorney over Adrian and he says and this is amazing I wrote it down word for word it's important that we don't let possessions possess us which is of course you know it's on, on its surface that's ah oh, that's sage advice no he's telling her you don't get to care that we sold your house didn't tell you and you found out because the new owner showed up early what if they hadn't wanted to measure would they just have shown up on the day and she would legally have had to leave the house just pack up whatever she might have to you know just cuz cuz Bryce didn't know that you know he didn't say by the way you should probably go tell her and he's and and he shows no remorse and this is of course the the you know that goes for cult leaders it goes for sadly a lot of people with authority you know when you confront them and tell them you did something wrong they'll just speechify and you just have to you know she she doesn't get justice you know at the end of the episode later in the episode is it I think it's Adrienne herself says to her, you know, we'll we'll make sure you and Billy get a, a good place, but you know, she doesn't immediately go, you know. To think when when Freya points out, you sold the house that I was living in without telling me, the thing that Adrienne wants to you know, the thing that she focuses on, how can you say it's your house? It's my house. It's legally belongs to me. Yeah, but you don't need it, and you could, th at the very least, have told her, or, like, ask her to, uh, I don't know, Freya has a lot of money to, but, you know, it's it's a completely absurd situation, and I, yeah, I really, again, still with the gaslighting, they're still gaslighting her all these years later, and... Yeah, at the at the, um, I don't know if it's at at one of the meals. Amy tells the other kids what Sarah said, and is of course, and she's punished by being thrown out of there. And again, you know, there is that little bit like Amy. She does want to. Uh, what's the word? She she wants to. She wants things to change at the very least, you know. And yeah, the the thing with with Sarah probably did push it sufficiently enough that like, yeah, there's a uh, what's the word? Um, the um. Um, hold on. I'll have it momentarily, I swear. Um, 
ADHD. Let's see the the uh, what was it? It was this thing of the um, yes yes um, you know she she did yeah she wanted to protect Sarah and they even you know uh, was it Adrian I think Adrian herself said to her you have to be her mentor you know and she she did she she tried to at least she wanted to be and now that Sarah is gone you know. Yeah, she can't help but wonder, wait, you know, I, I mean, because that's the thing. If you don't know anything about the outside world, you're just going to assume, I guess, there's nothing better than here. But the moment that you get a glimpse, because that's the thing, you know, at the time when Sarah said, I used to just be able to open the fridge if I was hungry, you know, and the, yeah, the, the, at the time, Amy was like, you're lying, but why would she lie about, you know, after a while, and certainly after Sarah was taken back to wherever she came from, you know, like, because that's the thing, at that point, there's a couple of options, maybe they just don't want to take care of Sarah, you know, maybe they don't. You know, but they say that they're these benevolent, you know, why would they not want to take care of Sarah? She didn't do anything very wrong. You know, she, she you know, she, obviously there were her a couple of times where she broke the rules, but they, you know, she didn't do anything, like, horrendous. That, so, you know, one option is that, but there are problems with that. Another option is, I suppose, I mean... Was it true? Is Sarah? Was Sarah living a better life before? And she missed it so much that they brought her back to it? If Sarah was kindred and then left, maybe all of them could leave the kindred. You know, it's it's that thing. The moment that you get... It, it's a very frail construction. It's the same thing you see with mainstream religion a lot of people either convert to a different religion or you know deconvert become atheists or agnostics and such and it tends to be this thing you know that that's where you have for example this thing of um hold on it's been a while since i accessed these memories let's see the thing is if god it's the problem of evil if god is all powerful why does he let evil happen Maybe he, maybe he's not all good, because if he's all good, you know, I don't know, maybe he's not all powerful then, because, again, why would he let evil happen, and if he's not, and, and I guess all-knowing is also, you know, if he is all-knowing, all-good, and all-powerful, God would not let there be evil, and if he's not all-powerful, all-knowing, and all-good, why call him God? And that's the thing that Amy is is dealing with with the the kindred, you know. If this isn't the best way to live, why are we living like this? You know, and that's uh, yeah, that that is something that you know come yeah comes up with these kinds of it's it's any any sort of miniature any any closed off group, you know the the yeah. Uh, you know, at some point or another, people might start to, to question that sort of thing. Let's see, and yeah, so... Yeah, we see that back then, Hendrik and Amy actually did have a good relationship, and now she thinks that Hendrik is being paid. You know, that's why they sold the house. Although Bryce claimed, you know, Adrienne has to be kept to, to, you know, she has to continue to live the way that the, the, what's the word? She has to be kept in the, the, yeah, the way that she has been accustomed to being kept, you know, which is again, just like, no, she doesn't. She super doesn't. She does not currently have an eight-year-old child who's being evicted because 
someone else wants to live in a in a certain way you know just cuz yeah so so you know again it is this this really they're they're incredibly selfish and that is of course you know probably all cult leaders i don't know that you can be a cult leader and not be extremely selfish but yeah so and and we see you know we we see um yusuf the cop you know obsessing over the case and he's actually he's not coming to dinner you know his wife is like and i really appreciate you know once it's just the two of them she speaks i want to say the subtitles identified it as arabic you know to him and he responds in arabic cuz you know that's very very common for you know yeah they they they're immigrants they 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 live in Eng uh, wait australia i'm actually not 100% some of the people making it are Australian, but the cult was New Zealand. Yeah, somewhere in that region of the world, you know. And yeah, they they moved to a country where the the first language is English. But yeah, you know, when it's just them, they might still sometimes switch back to the original language. A good detail and yeah we see you know he's like start without me and in the present day scenes which I just realized I don't actually know if it's supposed to be the present day because like technology I'm not sure we've seen any stuff that's like brand new and anyway the the yeah um the the I'm gonna call it present day. We we see in those you know in those scenes Yusuf doesn't appear to still really have contact with his wife and his kids. So you know he may have lost them because of obsessing over the kindred, and that's again that's a thing that actually happens sometimes. You know, cops or other you know yeah get get too obsessed. And it's the thing, like, you understand why. You know, he looks at these kids, and he's like, I gotta get them out of there. And it ended up destroying his relationship. And... Let's see... Yeah, we, we see, you know, Colin ask, Is it is it true? Did, did we take Sarah? That's... You know, because because that's at that that's that goes further than what he's comfortable with. You know, and that's the thing. Cults, they tend to escalate gradually over time. You know, they might start small, but you know the the maybe not all cults. Some of them might uh, dissolve before, but the the infamous cults. You know, like the the you know the ones that escalate into into killings mass suicides and this kind of that wasn't day one you know they didn't just immediately go there but they they have these unchallenged extreme views for long enough and they feel that what they're doing goes beyond you know you you can't you can't let someone from the outside have any say on that and suddenly you end up you know it's not like it's it's more it's much more likely for a cult to manage uh, um you know organize several you know a, a, yeah organize several members to kill or organize a widespread a, you know cult wide mass suicide that's much easier for for that kind of thing than for like you know regular people who don't live in a cult you know i'm not saying that we're perfect either but you know if if yeah, if, if, let's say that someone showed up to a sort of community gathering, you know, clink a glass with a fork and say, you know, here's what I think we should do and starts suggesting stuff like that, that's not going to go over so well. But with a cult, it's so insular and you listen to the leaders, you're not allowed to challenge the leaders. 
So I really think that the show is doing a great job exploring these, the, the different aspects of cult. Let's see, and yeah, Tamsin gives Adrian Amy's diary, but they don't think to make sure that Amy can't, you know, Amy does later get her hands back on it, and yeah, flees the picnic and manages to... I do really appreciate, I gotta say, the moment that I saw her run, I was thinking, please don't have her be caught, and then just, like, because, okay, sure, Sarah trying to escape, you know, ultimately, they did give Sarah back to her parents, so something came of it. There were consequences, sure, but for it to happen again, that would have just been, yeah. Also, I realized I said in my video on the first one that I wasn't sure if Freya was Amy or Sarah. I don't know. Sometimes I get insecure. I, yeah, of course it's Amy. I, I don't know why I never doubt it. It's just, yeah, insecurity. Anyway, let's see. Yeah, and Adrian, you know, scares Tamsin to the point where she sobs like a child, you know, it's still, it still is this motherly relationship, you know, like, I, I'm not blaming, so to be clear, I am not blaming Tamsin for getting upset, you know, what Adrienne is saying is extremely hurtful, but the fact that it leads her to, to sob, and then Adrienne, ah, uh, what, yeah, I don't remember, but she, she does or says something, that is like communicating, you know, it's there, there kind of thing, you know, because it, it is this warped relationship, because because the thing is, if Tamsin was a well-adjusted, you know, I mean, if I had to guess, I'm, I don't know, 25, 30 or something year old, you know, like, I mean, I'll tell you right now, if someone spoke to me like that, I would not start crying, I'd be like, how dare you, you know, it, it would be a discussion, it would be an argument, it would not be this kind of, you know, the, the, so, so, yeah, that's, let's see. I'm not saying there's something wrong with crying, to be, to be clear. It's the, it's the fact that it's this relation, you know, let's say that she sat and watched Bambi, and that made her cry, that would be fine. But, but this situation, you know, is, yeah. And, let's see. Yeah, and, and Freya is afraid that Billy has been taken in the white van. And, let's see. Yeah, and, and the, you know, and it turns out that Maxine was was driving the the white van i at, at first i was wondering is this an outright hallucination like is the the like we we you know we know that she does sometimes have visual hallucinations actually yeah i guess also auditory so so you know but yeah seemingly maxine and you know wayne goes to to the house and tells Freya that Maxine has has run off and Freya doesn't express missing Maxine you know we, we do learn later that she sent birthday cards and such so it's not that she doesn't care at all but in this situation again a healthy adult and it's not like you know as far as we can tell Wayne has been very reasonable in in this entire situation but you know basically she to, to Freya like because of the trauma of the cult she you know yeah she she's struggling to be a well-adjusted adult and yeah you know instead of expressing missing Maxine Freya in in fact she likes that She's not the one powerless in this situation. It's it's Wayne who is. Because for so much of her life, she's been treated so unfairly, and she's been the one who didn't have power. 
and yeah, now that she's, you know, she can't even, she can't even pretend that she isn't enjoying this, this situation, and on some level, it's, there's this immature thing, she's, she's never fully emotionally matured past, because as a child, you know, sometimes you might like that you aren't the one being punished, you're, you know, it's someone else being punished, that's also, you know, Anton, when, when he hears that Amy ran away from the picnic, you know, he can't, he can't stop from smile, he can't, he says it in earshot of the adults, she is in so much trouble, because that's where his mind goes, you know, he doesn't realize, he's not mature enough to realize, despite, you know, I mean, he seems to be, certainly he is tall enough to pass for, I mean, probably still a teenager, but, you know, I would say maybe high school age at least, and still not mature enough, yeah, you know, so, so, because they, you know, we've seen them be very unfairly treated in the cult. Now, I really appreciate the the creepiness when Amy, you know, understandably she, you know, she has to. I I have to say when when she like dove into the bush, I did not think that would actually work. I mean, I guess, but it was Henrik driving. Is there some chance that he didn't want to find her? Maybe, but but yeah, the the I I didn't think that she would that would be enough for her to hide. But anyway, yes. Yeah, so then we have the you know she yeah she has to find something to eat, so she she you know gets a she starts rummaging through a trash can, which makes noise. You know that's the that kind of. I don't know, t tin or, or steel trash can, you know, yeah, that it makes noise if you're rummaging through, so, you know, and, and Derek, like, at first, you really fear, like, oh no, this is gonna, this is not gonna end well, is it, because it's the kind of thing that, like, often does not end well. You know, and the the I I really appreciate that they actually did like the uh, what's the word when the um let's see. when when the um. Yeah, when when he you know you know he he says you're lucky that you know that that um yeah you're you're lucky that I found you. There's not a lot of people like the the closest person is miles away from here. And when he, when he says that, you know, we can't help like our collective mind goes. This is not, like, there's a, he's saying that, so she won't bother trying to run away from him, and then you hear someone, you know, someone's at the door, which immediately makes us think, oh, no, he, he, like, he contacted someone to help, you know, help make sure she doesn't escape or something, and we feel relief when it show when it turns out to be the cops, but then, you know, she is actually more afraid of the cops than she is of the kindred. So she runs, and you know, yeah. Thankfully, they do manage to to the the. I was a little, I was getting like Obi Wan show flashbacks. Of like a little girl easily outrunning adults, but no, she instead, much more logically, she runs face first into a um, a branch and knocks herself out. And back in the present, you know, Freya sees that Adrian has been watching family movies, and 
you know, says about Maxine. And Adrian, like, gets all melancholy and says, Mothers and daughters, nothing can come between them. And it's clear that there actually is still some love between Adrian and Freya. They're both, like, they're connecting over this. There's some love and some tenderness. And I really appreciate because that's the, th like, obviously cults are bad. That's a pretty, you know... They're not all equally bad, but I, I don't know that I have ever heard of a good cult. A again, the moment that you live outside of society, you know, there's... Yeah, you run into to bad things. Now... But, but yeah, you know, there is still some... some right, yes. I, uh, you know, obviously a lot of media points out how bad cults are, but this is one that actually also examines what are some aspects of it that actually, like, there was actually love there, as as twisted as it seems. Like, Freya seems happier with Adrienne, at least sometimes, in, in the present day, I mean, than she does in, in a number of other, like, she has an easier time showing love towards Adrian than towards Billy you know I, I and and it is this thing like yeah it's it's a it's it's complex and I really appreciate I, I'm so I hear so many people whine about like oh you know movies and TV today they're just not as good they're so much more complex I you know I've watched tons of movies from the 80s and 90s and you know, I grew up on 90s movies. I'm, I'm really glad, you know, and I still love a lot of them, but I'm really glad that we're, we're, we've gotten to a point where complexity is allowed in, in mainstream media. Now, let's see. Yeah, and, and the, the, yeah, we see Yusuf with Amy, and Amy is, very careful about revealing anything, but the, you know, you, yeah, and, and I appreciate this detail that, like, the relationship they have now is nowhere, you know, she eventually came to trust him, but it took a while. It would be pretty ridiculous if it, if it didn't. And, let's see, then we have the, yeah, and, and, um, Um, Maxine gets to the the house and connects with with Billy, and Freya goes to to make her another sandwich, and you know Maxine brought the you know because it means a lot to her, so she she you know she was trying to run away from home, which is you know she's like apparently a teenager, so you know that sometimes does happen, and yeah you know, Freya did send the, you know, birthday notes and, and such, but never wrote a return address. And again, we see that Freya struggles with boundaries. You know, you, like, I get, like, if you want to know what Maxine has, just ask her. Ask her, is, you know, can, can I see what you have in your bag? But no, she just goes up and, and starts reading it, you know. Just, but but yeah, you know the cult taught her, you know some some really, you know not always intentionally, but yeah, gave her some really bad habits like that. And Maxine says Wayne always said that you left because you couldn't be a mother. I've been watching you with Billy. You know how to be a mother. Why did you leave me? And again, it's this, like, it's, yeah, it's these very complicated relationships and, like, all the, all the things that have happened to these people have really, you know, yeah, she, she so she's like, the, the most re, yeah, yeah, there was a, there was a birthday note for her 16th birthday, so she's at least 16. And she's 
she doesn't remember her her you know uh, genetic mother her you know I, and and it's I, I hope we get I, I really think we need to destigmatize adoption so we get to a place where it's not so so painful to to learn and I'm not gonna you know I'm, I'm not trying to say that people who have been adopted shouldn't feel that uh, but but you know I I I can't myself completely imagine it really the the um, you know my my mother died when I was 12 there's never been nobody else has tried to be my mother and that was very much that yeah, to be clear that was the decision made uh, you know it was it was very clear that that would be a, a mistake to uh, to my father and I so, yeah, you know, the, the, yeah, I don't want to get into details, but, yeah, no woman that he has been with since my mother died has tried to, to be like a mother, and, yeah, I can't, I, I, it's, I'm really grateful for that, I, I, it's, I can't put into words how much I would have despised that. So, so yeah, um, can't imagine what it's like to be adopted. I do hope that we get to a place where it is so normal, so so common that no one thinks, you know. And and thankfully, there are some people who, you know, who are very happy they were adopted and and don't, you know, don't wish that they had stayed with their birth parents and let's see yeah you know Freya is unwilling to introduce Wayne to Billy and yeah you know he again points out this is you know yeah she's not ready for it and yeah so we see the police raid the the kindred and Adrian got away and then the um what was the thing that I wanted to say right I I have to wonder like there's five more episodes right f there's five more episodes are they this the the rest of this show is going to be extremely different from these first three episodes if there really aren't going to be more flashbacks to the time when they were at the kindred maybe they'll do flashbacks to like the early days after the kindred and seeing the the kids struggle to adapt to regular society that that could be interesting i'm not like disappointed i'm i'm fascinated to to see it's you know yeah i'm 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 really, really stoked on this show. I'm, I'm, I can't wait to see where it goes next. And the the episode ends with Anton, the you know, in the present day, meeting up with Adrienne. And it's actually the the adult Anton is played by Harry Greenwood, who played Iago in the Nightingale. So, yeah, really looking forward to to more. Of of him, he is just amazing in the Nightingale. Uh, it's a it's a difficult role, and he is just spot on. Uh, so so yeah, really really glad to be seeing more stuff. Um, right, there are th those were all of my notes. I will just very quickly skim reviews and see yeah this is really a great um, user review comment multi-layered mature writing with multiple timelines playing out as the secrets and deeds of the past impacts the characters future and present selves and that was the... yeah those were the ones I already read and let's see um...
Yeah, the one one critic says the first episode was so confounding we had to watch it twice to even figure out who everyone was, what was going on. Reviews are subjective. I acknowledge that. I don't think that's a criticism. I don't think that's that's a um hold on. That's a What's the th what's the saying that's a feature not a bug or is it the other way around? That's a good thing. Do you know how it is to to be like oh, I hate when people do that. I hate when people bring that kind of you want to watch something that's straightforward. There's so much out there that is that. This actually illustrates how confusing trauma can be. Like there's there's a lot of stuff that points out how painful trauma can be, but a lot of people don't understand how confusing it can also be. Like it's it's you can't the 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 human brain has not developed properly for handling trauma. It's something that takes a lot you know, it's 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 a long process. And and here we finally have something of a rare piece of media that explores how confusing it can be. And the reviewer says, I was confused too, not realizing that's the point. I agree, the first episode is super confusing. That's the point. And I really Honestly, if the first episode had been much more straightforward, I don't think this show would have been that interesting. Now, let's see, and yeah, this, this says, you know, the it burrows deep into cult psychology and its lifelong effects without feeling exploitative. And yeah, it hooks the viewer from the jump. <laughs> the clearing gives us in Adrian a wicked stepmother to rival any in the extensive Disney canon, which is appropriate since it is on Disney Plus here in Western Europe. And let's see the yeah quickly subverts expectations. And yeah, convey skill the series skillfully conveys the ease with which one can disappear never to return. And I like to think that they mean that this reviewer who by the name I cannot quite deduce their gender pronouns, this reviewer, I like to think that they're not only talking literally, they're also talking figuratively because some of these people will never be the people they were if not for the kindred and before the kindred. It's, let's see, and yeah, and, and this one says, you know, um, the, at its best, the clearing adopts a dreamlike tone, one locked into the false reality created by Adrian and her followers. And the, this guy goes on to say, sometimes the dreaminess just feels languid. I, I disagree with that. And I think these three episodes, that's what the critics also saw. So, yeah, I've, I've seen what he's seen. Hard pass. Absolutely disagree. Now the let's see the um, um yeah one one IMDb user reviewer says you know the 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 reason that Billy is actually called Bilbo you know Miranda Otto was in Lord of the Rings so yeah that I I do really like that that's uh, yeah. And, um, let's see, yeah, this person said, this is interesting, even though this is not my kind of thing, usually, the level of manipulation, including the use of drugs, is quite intriguing, and, yeah, um, one user reviewer opens their review saying, I question the wisdom of watching this when I'm about to have a baby. I mean, I'm not about to tell you what to to. I I don't like telling parents what to do and what not to do unless they're like actively causing harm because parents question their own judgment enough, uh, you know. So, but wouldn't do it in my. I wouldn't do it. You do you. And let's see the. Um, Okay, they, yeah, they praise the performances of Julia Savage and Lily Latour, 
who play um hmm. right yeah uh amy julia savage plays amy um not seeing lily anywhere uh let's see oh and then, yeah sarah of course yeah absolutely agreed amazing performances by them and let's see yeah um Yeah, the idea of children being kidnapped and brainwashed, not to mention the abuse they endure at the hands of their caretakers, is quite horrifying. Sarah, in particular, portrays that horror better than anyone. I like the alternating timelines. It's I think it's cool to see what happened in the past, how the events impact them in the present. Oh, right. Abigail keeping her name as opposed to Freya is very interesting to me. Yeah, yeah. And one more, so let's see. Okay, uh, I'm not going to spend forever on this, but just... So this person says, so far what we've seen is ridiculous. Why do they all die? All the children's hair bleach blonde, like children of the damned, but these children don't seem to possess any exquisite... Well, it really doesn't show what this nonsense. Okay, you haven't... I'm gonna go ahead and guess this person has not been able to watch all eight episodes. Wait, or... Yeah, see, that's the thing. Is it... No, yeah, it says right here that the the next episode will only... Air, the Episode four, next episode nine, will air in one week. So this person... This person wrote the, the their review the twenty sixth, so they can only have watched the first two episodes, and they and they are upset that they don't have all the answers two episodes into an eight episode show. So that's already, and I mean, the the thing with dyeing the children's hair bleach blonde, for one thing, I would guess it has to do with Adrienne's hair being bleach blonde, like she's trying to create mini copies, so. I feel that that's very surface level interpretation. She she pretty much she makes it clear that she wants them to be these perfect little imitations of, of her uh, yeah, whatever. And the other thing is that I I don't know if this is also if that's why it was done done with real life cult, but the real life cult, the family also died I, I don't know if it was all of them, but certainly a bunch of them dyed their hair bleach blonde, so I don't I don't know why this person is it's a fairly short review and they spend a lot of time just on this bleach blonde hair thing it seems like she's looking for investors but for what they do oh my okay I'm gonna move on because this guy is gonna drive me insane holy crap you've watched two episodes of out of eight and you don't you don't have all the answers, and you're upset about that. This is what serialized... This is exactly what serialized storytelling is supposed to do. It's supposed to leave you wanting more. Holy crap. Okay. Um, anyway, I am still stoked for the rest of this show. It's very difficult to wait an entire week, but hey, I did grow up on shows where you had to wait a week. So I'm gonna I'm gonna be okay. Uh, yeah, really, I I love almost everything about the show so far. Um, yeah, I I mean I will say if by the end of the show's run, I don't know if it's gonna get more than this one season. If by the end of the show's run, they still it's still you know there are still questions left that are just frustrating the way that, like, Lost did, you know, the way that Damon Lindelof is, you know, I, I guess at this point it is his shtick, right? Like, he did it for other stuff than Lost. If you haven't already watched the movie Prometheus and you don't like unanswered questions, don't watch it. It's, it's so freaking frustrating. But yeah, you know, I wasn't left at the end of the pilot 
of Lost thinking, oh, wow, I can't, this is so frustrating, they're not answering questions yet. Anyway, yes, um, we'll, we'll see. You know, I've, I've, a bunch of recent stuff has not had the best closing, even though it had strong openings, you know, of, of Disney Plus, MCU, and Star Wars shows, so I'm hoping that this one doesn't do that, uh, you know, it's, it's completely different people doing it, so that, that, you know, that could help there. But yeah, um, I don't think it's a problem for something to end and you still have some questions. It's, it's very much about what your questions are. You know, if, if there's something that is just confusing without it being confusing for a reason, then, but, but yeah, really loving it so far. Looking forward to next episode. I will do at least one more video this week. I am planning on two, but we'll see how it goes. So hope to catch you in one of those.